Got my hometown of RVA. That sounded so dumb. Richmond, Virginia. I live in Nashville, but uh, Richmond, Virginia is where I am from. Um, I don't have very many hats, but this is one of them. That has nothing to do with drumsticks. Wanted you to uh, have a little bit of information about chords for drumsticks. Now, I did put out two separate pieces of the same video about chords. Um, but since there are specific questions or people looking for things related specifically to the strumstick, I wanted to, you know, kind of have that here for you as well. So, strumsticks, uh, three strings. This is the smaller version, it's tuned to G. So I will run through some chords on here, presuming that you will come back and uh, stop and start and that kind of thing. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on them. Some of the why behind the chords is in my other video, but I'll do this one in G and then I'll just grab the one in D that I have. It's a grand um, McNally strum stick and then you can, uh, you can pick and choose. Uh, you have one or the other. There are only the two major kinds. So this is one in G, G, D, G. The uh, first thing to know about these is that at the, because a strum stick is diatonically fretted, which means fretted only in one key, it's straightforward enough just to use your only finger here, one finger, whichever one you want. So this is G open, this is A, which would be A minor in the key, but it's just A if you don't do anything other than fretting across, and then B, C, D, E. Technically E minor in the key, but again, not there. Now on a strum stick, there's a funky little fret in here. Sounds like I'm not in tune, but I'm pretty sure I am. Anyway, that's back at the octave, so. You might have heard it better that time when it's I when I just run it up like that. This one in here, that's a flat seven. It's the six and a half fret. It comes from Mountain Dulcimers. You don't need to worry too much about that knowledge as much as you just need to know that's kind of the off note on here. Uh, Seagull Merlins don't have the six and a half fret, um, right or wrong. They just don't. So. The reason I bring all this up is you can play most songs, going back to why I was even showing you the one finger, you can play most songs with one finger. Jolene, jo Jolene, 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 please don't take it just because you can. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm butchering them, but you get the idea. So it's just, just that one. Um, so. This is open G, just fretting on that first string, and you can invert it, meaning you flip over to only fretting on the bottom string. That's that's a more complete G chord. Um, then here, I usually bar with one index finger, and then most people would probably go for that, but I'm just used to doing it this way for more of a guitar mind frame. Also works better spacing wise, especially on the, the D, which has wider spacing on the fret. So there's a minor chord, your A minor, B minor, which is the minor three chord. If you wanted to go on up still the same shape, you'd have your C chord, your four chord. But I'm going to stop here and do some other chord shapes. So this is one of my favorite ways to play the open, I mean the um, the G chord, the, the root chord. Okay. Uh, so you could do, and you could then mess around with that. Four chord. Backing that shape down, keep
keeps your ring finger there. Index finger on the first first string, for, I mean the middle string first fret. And then you can either leave the, op the top string open or put your pinky right there. At that point you're just doubling the octave. You're doubling what's on the lower string, but I like that shape. It's a stable shape to play physically. I mean, my hand as opposed to this, which feels unsupported. But sometimes having that voicing, meaning that's how the chord is, uh, those are where the notes are, that voicing versus this, this voicing is uh, helpful. If you move that shape up, that's your D chord. Now, what I've really come um, to enjoy lately is playing the D chord open, instead of being open, playing the first fret here, the low fret there, so you're doubling that, but you're getting that, that middle string is open. So it would be like a... G, D, G. Uh, I like this voicing a lot, for well, this particular chord a lot, one, because it's Sometimes it's easier to get to than trying to get all the way up here. But also, sometimes when I'm singing along, uh, this is a better voicing. That note stays out of the way of the melody more than if I was doing this. That, that high note sort of sticks through, you know? So. Options. This is also another way you can play the, the D pinky on the bottom string, middle finger on the middle string at the second fret, index finger back here. That's just hard. You can do it, it's hard. That's why I often opt for this. Same thing, same idea, right? So you can do it. You can move this shape up, and then you've got your minor chord, your E minor chord. Or you could do the same thing where you've got it, that same shape. But I like to move it all back and play the minor chord. Ring finger, middle finger on the first string, open top string. There's your E minor, because this is tuned to G. That is because, and I play it this way, most people would be like, why aren't you playing it like this? I play it this way, because then I can just move my hand up one fret and change out my fingers a little bit, but not move this one. Something my guitar teacher taught me when I was real young is be as lazy as possible with your motion. So, and then I'm right there and I'm right there. So I can go minor, E minor, straight up to G. That's a pretty common thing, right? straight to the four, so. And I can go, like I was saying, so. I just played the four chords you need, 90% of the time, those four. Your E minor, your six minor chord, G, your one chord, C, the four chord, and then D, five chord, or you can play it here. Okay, so it'd be um, standard progression is one, six, four, five, one. Just threw that out there, didn't I? Now that I've gone long enough